Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to plot a frequency distribution histogram using Excel 2010. So let's say I have a series of data like I have here in the first two columns A and B on the left hand side of my spreadsheet. In column A I've got students, in this case represented by letters of the alphabet, and the grades that they've scored in tests. And what I'd like to be able to do is display, as I've shown here, a frequency distribution histogram to show me um, how many grades are falling within certain bands. And I'd also like to see if my uh, chart uh, represents a normal distribution, uh, like what you see here, it's almost normal, um, for uh, my frequency distribution histogram. So how do we draw this, this histogram? Let's delete this one here and build one up from scratch. The first thing I need to do is decide the intervals that I'm going to use. And in the histogram I showed you my interview intervals were of 5%. And we call these intervals um, in uh, frequency distribution bin limits. So I'm going to type that in here as a heading. Let's make it bold so you can see it a little bit easier. And I'm going to start out with 0 and I want to do increments of 5%. So I'm just going to do an easy formula in here equals um, the uh, cell with 0 in it plus 5. And I want to copy that value down until we reach a value of 100. So these are my um, limits uh, for the intervals that I'm going to use on my histogram. The next thing in the next column, what I'd like to do is add in the frequency. So I'm just going to type in the heading frequency here. And I want to opposite each of the values, each of my bin limits, um, plot the number of grades that we see over here within each limit or within each lim interval band. And I'm going to use a frequency formula to do that. I could of course add them up myself and put them in manually, but I want to use a formula to do this because this is a short piece of data. Imagine if you had hundreds of grades listed here. So what I want to do is in this first cell here, I want to put in the frequency, how many va uh, grades occur in the range 0 up to 5. And to do this, I'm going to choose the formulas ribbon across the top of my screen here. And the function I need is not listed, so I need to go to the More Functions option here towards the center. Select that. There are five options here, and the one that I need is the statistical option. I'm going to scroll down then until uh, I get to the letters F and select the option for Frequency. So I can put that in here, and this immediately displays the Function Arguments window. So what I need to be able to tell my formula is where the data are and what the intervals that I want to use are, in other words, the bin limits. So let's select the data array first of all. That's simply these values over here. So I'm going to use the Select tool, click on the first cell, use the Shift key and click on the last cell to select all data within my range. And in the Function Arguments window, I've got B2 to B27 listed here. In the bins array, well, that's these values listed over here. So I can just go and select those again, select the first value, and shift click to select the last value and I've now got in my frequency function arguments window uh, both arrays that I need the data representing the grades and the bins array representing my intervals or bin limits over here so I go ahead and just click OK and you can see that the frequency the number of grades occurring in the range 0 to 5 is 0 uh, thank goodness for that and uh, nobody has scored that low in my test so I can't now just copy this formula down as I would normally do copying formulas in Excel. I need to do something a little bit different. And you need to watch carefully at what I do here. The first thing I'm do, going to do is I'm going to select all the empty cells here, all the values that I want my frequencies to be displayed in. So I've highlighted the entire column here. Next, I'm going to click on the frequency formula in the formula bar up here at the top, and you can see Excel highlights the um, grade values and the bin limits for my formula. I'm going to very carefully then, and listen to this, I'm going to uh, enter the Control, Shift, and Enter keys all together. And what that does is it fills out my values here for each of my bin limits. If you're using a Mac, by the way, it's the Command and Return key combination that you need to do. So all my values have been filled in here. Now I'm in a position to plot my graph. So what I'm going to do then is select the heading and all the values here and just do a normal uh, creating a column. Select 2D column here. And I have now created my histogram. And this is close to what I had in the early part of the uh, video. 
Now, only one or two more things to do. First of all, I'm going to just delete the uh, uh, label over here to make my diagram a little bit bigger. But you can see, and I've got my frequencies on the left-hand side, but you can see across the bottom here, I don't have 0 to 100 to represent percents that I was hoping to have. It's going from um, 1 to 21 in this instance here. So I'm going to select the ax x-axis. Uh, with my left mouse button and then I'm going to choose the right mouse button and select the select data option here. And what this does is it allows me to change the uh, values in on the x-axis in my chart. And over here on the right hand side there is a horizontal uh, axis label and you can see this starts out with labels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and it goes up to 21 representing the values that I've had on my chart and I need to change this. So the edit button here allows me to do that so click on the edit button I need the axis label range, so I've got the select tool here on the right hand side. So what I want to do is select that and put in my bin limits for the x axis. So I'll just select the first to the end there, continue that and click OK to finalize my frequency distribution histogram. You can see across the bottom I go my range is from 0 up to 100. On the y-axis on the left-hand side, I've got the frequencies for each one, and I've got an almost normal distribution with my charts here, with the center high point around about the 55 uh, to 60 percentile marking grade. So that's how you create a uh, frequency distribution histogram in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.